So I had that kind of background and that way of integrating and bringing uh, science and society together when I saw the job um, that was uh, offered at Berkeley where Dave Mullen was walking down the hall uh, in the Harney Science Center and said, there's a job at Cal and I'm applying for it. And I said, well, what is it? And he said, well, it's in this new department, conservation and resource studies and that later become environmental science policy and management. And uh, I said, well, uh, what do you have to do? And he said, well, there are all these courses in the catalog that were devised by lecturers and taught by lecturers, and now they are wanting to hire full-time faculty to teach those courses. And it turned out that the first three faculty members that they hired to do that uh, were women. And that's because the, uh, there were a lot of women in the uh, uh, major and in also who were grad students, and they wanted women um, because mostly the College of Natural Resources, um, except for nutritional sciences, was men. What were some of the first courses that you taught at Berkeley? Um, so I taught um, a course on uh, environmental history, and that course had been originated by Joseph Petula, and he wrote the first book called American Environmental History, and he had been a lecturer and taught um, environmental history. And Alan Miller had also been a lecturer and taught environmental ethics. And when they created the job, they combined environmental history, philosophy, and ethics into one position. And so I was able to apply for that job, but the, my job had Donald Worcester and Carolyn Merchant, who were the finalists for the environmental history job. Don Worcester was applying with you at the same time. Yeah, Don, Donald Worcester had applied, and he was at Kansas, and he had written a wonderful book on nature's economy, and he was a highly qualified candidate. But I uh, was a woman, and many of the students, there were undergrad students at the time who were on the uh, committee, along with the uh, male faculty, and the students wanted a woman. And so they lobbied uh, because I was a finalist to have Carolyn Merchant. And so both uh, Donald Worcester and I were interviewed and we gave lectures to the undergraduate students as well as the faculty who were involved in that department. And at the time I applied, I had been a uh, student at the Center for Advanced Study at Stanford. And this was where I began writing my book, <clears throat> The Death of Nature. And so when I was interviewed, I was from Stanford, and I was not a local yokel from four blocks away in Berkeley where my house actually was. <laughs> wow. And good for you that there are all those uh, women who wanted your perspective to be part of what became so foundational here at Cal. Right, yes, and uh, they wanted to understand what role women had played in the environment, using the environment, developing what women as scientists and environmental scientists had done. And so they liked me because I was interested in pursuing those topics and finding out, um, digging into the archives and finding who they were and what they had done.